Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a very impromptu, uh, thrifted book haul. I just so happen to be in my old town for a doctor's appointment and there is a Savers here that I love. They have a huge selection of books for really great prices. So uh, after my appointment, I thought I'd stop in and see if there was anything I wanted. And I have a very busy next couple days because I'm headed, I'm headed off to BookNet Fest and I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to sit down and film. So I thought I would show you guys really quickly in the car before I head back home. So anyway, the first book I picked up is this one. It's called Beyond Earth. This is by Ralph and Judy Bloom. And I think it's the same Judy Bloom from uh, like elementary school or middle school books but I could be totally wrong this one is about contact with UFOs it's a uh, nonfiction and it's one of those books that has photographs in it and I am a sucker for books that have photos like that uh, but this is also blurbed by Ray Bradbury and he wrote we have needed a new comprehensive UFO survey for many years now this is that book and y'all know I love me some aliens, so I picked this up. This says it was $2.50, but the books were buy three, get one free. So uh, yeah, that was the deal today. The next one I picked up is one of my all-time favorite books, and that is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I read this last year, and it made my top five of the year, but I don't actually own a copy of this. And I really loved this old vintage cover on it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I will reread this anytime soon, but I'm really glad to have a copy. And this one also said it was $2.50. Next, I picked up another alien book, and that is Sphere by Michael Crichton. Uh, I believe this one takes place in the ocean, like aliens that are living deep in the ocean. Yeah, in the middle of the South Pacific, a thousand feet below the surface of water, a huge vessel is discovered resting on the ocean floor. So, yay, more aliens, and I especially love aliens that are on Earth. I've never read this book. I think it's a movie also. If you've read this one or seen the movie, let me know down below if it's one I should get to sooner rather than later. All right, two more science-y books. Uh, I got Cosmos by Carl Sagan. I first heard of this one I think it was um, Vicki from Chapter 32 mentioned this on her channel. It says on the back, Cosmos is like the college course in science you always wanted to take, but you never knew a professor could teach. So I'm definitely getting more into outer space along with aliens. I uh, recently went to a planetarium, planetarium with my kids and I loved it. I could live in a planetarium. I thought it was just the most fascinating thing. So I definitely want to learn more about the cosmos. Uh, the next one I picked up is from the same author and that is called Contact. And this one again is about aliens. I am not exactly sure how this book is uh, set up or how it's going to go, but um, I've definitely heard of this one, not Cosmos until recently, but I have heard of this one. Uh, it keeps getting suggested to me online because of all of my alien searches, so I was very glad to pick that up. I think both of these were $2.50. Next, we're going in a completely different direction, and this one I just kind of picked up on a whim because I thought maybe it would be fun to go through a couple of these stories during Halloween time, but it's called Kiss Me Deadly 13 Tales of Paranormal Love. Uh, and one of the authors in here is Maggie Stiefot Stiefotter. I think that's how you say her name. I think she writes the werewolf books. I read the werewolf books. Shiver, is that right? I think uh, I read Shiver many years ago and I did like it, but I might be a little bit too old for this kind of stuff now. Uh, we will see. Anyway, it was super cheap. I'm sure it was like $2.50 also. And I thought, you know, if I'm bored or whatever and I just want something short and kind of uh, romancy, I will pick this one up. I picked up You Suck by Christopher Moore. Uh, I grabbed this one because I recently read The Hike by Drew McGarry. And somebody had mentioned, I think it was on Goodreads, that his writing style was similar to Christopher Moore. Or that he was trying to be like Christopher Moore. I don't remember. But um, I loved his writing 
uh, in the hike. And so when I saw this one, I wanted to pick it up to see if I will like it also. I think I will. This one is about a guy who realizes his girlfriend is a vampire. And then one day he wakes up and he's a vampire. Uh, yeah, that's all I know about it. It has something to do with vampires. Looking forward to that. And the last book I picked up is Dirty Job by Christopher Moore. This one sounds absolutely fascinating. This one is about a family man who's very normal and mundane. And then uh, he realizes that he has been turned into death. Like he is, he becomes like the Grim Reaper. And I think that's really cool. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Again, if you have read any of these books, let me know down below. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I still have lots I need to get done today before I leave. So yeah, I hope you all have a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.